Kelly Shaw Rocky Mountain Sasquatch Organization. I'm up near the Bauman incident that Teddy Roosevelt writes about where Bauman's trapping buddy gets killed by a Bigfoot. Well back then they called it a wild man but today's description in my opinion was they uh, had uh, Bigfoot trouble. I've brought you guys here before but I wasn't actually able to get this far in. I was about 10-15 uh, miles from here. They had a fire going on when all this happened and they had access to the area shut down for the fire. I've been researching this area for about three four years now. I believe I'm on my fourth year. I've visited this area three times this season so far but there's a lot of Bigfoot sightings in the area and uh, it was kind of difficult to find. They say that it happened in the Bitterroot uh, Mountains that uh, are kind of pinched between uh, the Salmon River and the Wisdom River. Well if you look on maps and stuff you're not gonna see a Wisdom River you're gonna see a Wise River and I thought you know uh, Teddy Roosevelt's uh, made a mistake and uh, called it the, the Wisdom River instead of the Wise River. Well, the Wise River does empty into the old Wisdom River. It was, the name of the river was changed to Big Hole River. So on today's maps, it's the stretch of Bitterroot Mountains between the Big Hole and the Salmon. And uh, I don't know if this is the exact creek, but I, I think I'm damn close that it happened on. Him and his buddy come up here trapping beaver because uh, the story's coming out of here, out of there is, you know, there was a lot of beaver. A lot of people would not trap the area because uh, uh, local settlers and uh, some of the tribesmen, the Nez Pierce, uh, I think back then they called them the, the Nimipu Indians, you know, they. Uh, warned people that there was a wild man in there attacking people, killing people, and so did the settlers. But Bauman and his trapping partner come in here anyway, and just the rumors were true. The beaver's real thick. I've been bigfooting uh, up here uh, the last two days, and a lot of beaver activity. So it is a great place even today to trap if you were a trapper. But uh, they were harassed by the Bigfoot for a couple of days before one of them was killed. They uh, heard themselves getting paralleled, thought they could uh, hear it stomping around the forest a few times. Then uh, one night it was standing right at the mouth of their lean-to and uh, one of them took a shot at it and it ran off screaming. I don't know if they hit it. They don't know if they hit it but uh, anyway after they shot at it that night they decided that uh, they needed to get the hell out of there. The next day when they went to get their traps and everything, Bowman's buddy, and I'm sorry, I don't know his name. They never uh, write his name or I haven't come across his name, but uh, he stayed back at camp to button up camp and get it ready to go. They wanted to move their trapping lines about five miles down the canyon. This harassment from this wild man that uh, they saw across the river one of the nights stomping back and forth and then at the mouth of their lean-to, they just thought it was the time to get out of there. So uh, they split up. Bowman picks up the traps. He comes back and his buddy's dead. He could see where the creatures, the footprints come right up snapped his buddy's neck even bit him on the neck when he snapped it and then uh, there was evidence of the creature jumping up and down on his buddy's body and actively or whatever so a pretty raunchy Bigfoot and uh, this happened over a hundred years ago around the turn of the century last century uh, like the 1890s is when this happened but um, I've done uh, several Bigfoot sighting reports. I've visited the locations where people have reported either being attacked by a wild man or the Bigfoot being very aggressive. Um, the stretch between Salmon, Idaho and Missoula, Montana. A lot of uh, aggressive uh, Bigfoot activity and then these last two summers a lot of people uh, disappearing in this area not saying it's Bigfoot. I mean there are uh, wolves, uh, grizzlies, um, bear and mountain lion and uh, a couple was killed not too far from where I'm standing uh, actually about 10-12 uh, uh, miles this direction in the salmon direction a couple was 
uh, mauled and killed by a grizzly last summer. So there's a whole host of reasons why these people could be missing, but they happen to be missing near the famous Balmain Bigfoot incident where a Bigfoot supposedly killed someone. I'm gonna pick up the camera and I'm gonna show you guys around. It's a very beautiful place. Now telling the story, I know I got the timeline a little bit wrong. They shot a creature the, the first night it was harassing them. That it was standing outside their lean-to. And then uh, the next day they decided to stay together and go service all the trap lines. Decided to stick together that second day and that's when they got paralleled and messed with all that day and into the evening. That evening it was uh, stomping back and forth across the river and they were getting glimpses of its silhouette and so forth. And that's when the next day they just decided, let's get our gear and get out of here. And you know, I don't know why they uh, didn't stick together third day, but they, uh, you know, Bowman did mention that, uh, he did mention to get out of there quicker that one decided that he decided to go get the traps while his buddy packed up the camp and stuff for him. So anyways it makes me question you know is there an aggressive lineage of Bigfoot you know do they teach their youngsters to be aggressive towards men is it in their dna is it still happening today i know there's still uh, bigfoot sightings in this area today all right well we are we've been uh tent camping we've been roughing it you know uh we're not staying in a campground we're staying by the creek and uh you know brought our own uh, porta potty and all that that's how I like to Bigfoot very small groups remote places Bigfoot sighting hot spots you know it's damn near impossible to get a Bigfoot sighting you're not gonna find a Bigfoot if you're just sitting at home watching reruns of finding Bigfoot you got to get out there and if I'm putting myself in places that Bigfoot is being seen Hopefully that increases my odds by one or two percent, but um, that's what it's going to take to find a Bigfoot in my opinion. Alright, well I hope you guys enjoy uh, the Bauman uh, Bigfoot area. Keep on watching, we're going to keep on squatching.